Hi guys, this is Jimmy from Spin Retro. So I have here GameSir F4 Falcon Mobile Gaming Controller. This is $25.99 on Amazon. I ordered it a few days ago, it came today. I'm about to do a unboxing and first impression of this controller. This controller goes on top of the phone and it has um, a device here that clicks the phone for you and it'll act as a L1 and R1 trigger for the phone and it's used for FPS games such as Call of Duty, um, Fortnite, and PUBG. So let's unbox this. And uh, okay. So you have the USB-C type charger. Doesn't come with the charging brick, so you have to have your own charging brick or plug this to the computer to charge it. This is in Chinese, I don't know what this is for. Gamesir F4 Falcon Manual. Okay, so this looks pretty slick. So there is a charging port right there. Um, this, unlike other um, controllers where it uh, physically touched the screen, this actually always touched the screen and using uh, the power, it sends the signal to the phone. So when you click on this, it's sending a signal. So it requires a battery. I guess that's that could be con, pro or con, depending on how you look at it. Uh, the idle time is 300 days, so you don't really have to charge this often. The battery life is 30 hours, so you can play this uh, for a long time without charging it. Let's try putting the phone in. I have a thick case here. Let me see if uh, I can put it in. I'm using a Galaxy Samsung Galaxy S10. So right now it's not working. This is the farthest I can go. And I'm kind of afraid that it would leave a mark here. Okay. Take out the case. There is a crease here, which is probably there to um, house the power button and other buttons that, are, that is protruding outside. So it's kind of awkward um, because I have to push this pull this out so when it's sitting on it it feels fine you can see the light indicator lighting up as you click the button as I'm clicking the button so you have L button here turbo USB-C port for charging turbo R and that's it Guess you can scan this QR code for tutorial. And this is a spongy material. Okay. It bothers me that L and R are kind of off-centered. This is uh, more towards the left. This is more towards the left also, not to the right. Kind of odd. Okay, so I'm in a button layout here. So I have to slide this button right under here, right underneath R. Scope button right under L. So go there. It's kind of annoying that the, the camera is there. So let me confirm. Okay, so the grip is a little awkward because it's top heavy and there's nothing that's, you know, holding here. Left, R, okay. So I can use that to, to use the scope and press R to, to shoot. 
playing a first person shooter game, this type of controller are superior uh, over the regular Bluetooth controller because when you use the Bluetooth controller or uh, a wired controller, when you look around, this is far better than joysticks because for joysticks, it accelerates. Okay, so this was GameSers F4 gameplay. Um, it's a little awkward. I've had better experience with a cheaper um, controller that uh, actually presses the button physically. That one had the, the holder here. Gripping it like this just on the, with, without anything behind is a little weird and my hand was cramping because I have to hold the phone this way. Other than that, this uh, I think the pro to this is you can carry this in the pocket. Very small form factor, pretty nice. This also, this may not be too wide for a bigger phone. But other than that, small form factor, it's Nice looking, it's only $25 on Amazon. I'll leave the links below in the video description. So that was GameSir F4 mobile gaming controller. And as always, thank you for watching.